Hey guys, Blazin here, and today, in this video, I want to talk about Splitgate 2 and give my opinions on it. Now I'm already going to say this right off the bat, but I don't have a lot of nice things to say about this game. But before we get into what I don't like, let's get into the things that I do like. So when I first saw the reveal trailer, I already liked the art style. In the first Splitgate game, 1047 kind of went wild with the art style. But then again, I guess that was on purpose since they were experimenting. But Splitgate 2, the way it looks, the way it sounds, the weapons, animations, everything aesthetically and artistically is amazing in this game. It is also a very well polished game from a technical standpoint, considering this is an alpha. Oh, and I guess I will say, the core gameplay feels good, if not maybe slightly better than Splitgate 1. The addition of Slide is actually really nice. It's not too intrusive, but it's still useful. The core gameplay is just as good as Splitgate 1. And what I mean by that is the feel when you're moving and shooting. So the way how movement interacts with shooting and getting shot back feels really good. Alright, that's about all the good things I can say about this game. Now to talk shit about it. Alright, let's start with, with the reveal trailer. When I first saw the reveal trailer, obviously I was hyped. I was so ready for Splitgate 2. Uh, I've been waiting for it. And, uh, you know, when I first saw it, I was really hyped. And then the more I kept seeing it, and the more, you know, I saw people were saying on Twitter that it was looking like a hero shooter and whatnot. So then I started to take a closer look at things, and I was like, oh shit. I was like, oh no. Please don't be a hero shooter. Please don't be, like, loadout class-based shooter. And, uh, well, when they showed off the gameplay, it it, 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 it and now that this alpha w was out, it, it is. And also when Skump said, This is just such a fresh outlook on a good, fun arena shooter. Skump is wrong. This is not really an arena shooter anymore. Splitgate 1 I consider an arena shooter. Splitgate 2 is not an arena shooter. This is a hero class based shooter. The identity has changed a bit, but the core gameplay at least remains the same. The gameplay kind of feels more like Call of Duty than it does Splitgate. Or even Halo for that matter. You know, when Splitgate 1 came out, you know, everyone called it Halo with portals. And I thought for Splitgate 2, I think it might have been smarter for the developers, 1047, to double down on that. But they did not. Instead, what they did was took inspiration from other games, like Call of Duty and Overwatch. And even arguably specifically, Rogue Company and Black Ops 4. Call of Duty is best known for its class system and loadout customization. Overwatch is known for its hero mechanics. Black Ops 4 also has its own hero mechanics known as specialists, and has loadouts because it's a Call of Duty game. Rogue Company also has heroes. I already fear for this game's future, or even release for that matter. If 1047 continues in this direction, and this is the direction they've decided, this game might be dead on arrival. Essentially what, what they've done is just taken inspiration from other games instead of doubling down, you know, the Halo and Portal thing. You can't do loadout based, like, shooters better than Call of Duty. I personally, and I'm sure some others feel the same way, but I personally just wanted another Halo styled game. Kind of like how Splitgate 1 was. As a matter of fact, after the Splitgate 2 alpha was over, I recently went back to play Splitgate 1. And it had been years since I played Splitgate 1. And oh my god did I have so much fun instantly. Splitgate 1 to me feels that, uh, feels, fills that void that has been left since Halo Infinite's failure. There hasn't been a competitive shooter to get addicted to ever since, for me, with Halo Infinite. And when I went back to Split Gate 1, you know, it still kind of has that Halo feel. You know, everyone has even starts and weapon pickups on maps. Also, the map design is very arena-like. So Split Gate 1 filled a void that has been empty since, well, Halo Infinite's failure. And unfortunately, Split Gate 2, for me, does not fill that Halo void. It's like Splitgate 1 was Halo 3, and then Splitgate 2 is Halo 4. Like, I'm kinda getting deja vu like that. Like, instead of doubling down what people identified you as, you're instead taking inspiration from other games. Now to talk about the maps a little bit that were in the alpha, um, they were not bad by any means. However, the design language, at least to me, feels like it was made for, like, a hero-based map design. Like, they can be arena-esque, but they also feel like hero designed. Like it's designed specifically for hot zone and less for team deathmatch. Like it is designed specifically with like three zones or like domination like Black Ops 4 in mind. 
I don't want to say three lanes because clearly there isn't three lanes. There's, you know, the map. Like I said, the maps themselves are just really well designed. But at least to me, it feels like they were designed for like three plots, like objective in mind. And less arena-esque like they were in Split Gate 1. And guns, specifically the assault rifles and SMGs, feel a lot easier in this game than they did in Split Gate 1. Like I said, recently playing Split Gate 1 and using all the automatics, the automatics actually had quite a... Uh, at least you had to think a little bit of how to use them. You know, the assault rifle had a lot of recoil, so you had to keep in mind recoil control. Um, the SMG was already limited by range, so it had like a huge spread. And then the plasma rifle, you had to keep in mind its projectile velocity, so you might have to lead a little bit depending on the range. This game, there is little to no effort with the fully automatic weapons. All the assault rifles from each class are just batshit easy to use. And when you make your guns easy to use, at least for me, that kind of turns me off a little bit. I'll probably still, like, if Splitgate 2 comes out this way, I will, obviously I'm still going to try it and everyone's still going to try it. It's like, if I loved Splitgate 1, I'm not going to love Splitgate 2. I'll like it, but I won't love it. Also, having shotguns in the loadout class system is really stupid. Like I said, deja vu. Remember Halo 4 when they had the bolt shot as a secondary? which is essentially a pocket shotgun. That's what this kind of reminds me of with the shotguns in Split K2 that you can get with the other two classes. And you know, now there's also perks and weapon attachments. Like I said, it's like going from Halo 3 to Halo 4. If this is the direction 1047 chooses to go and if they keep going this way, um, obviously because it's going to be new, people are going to come in and check it out and you know, everyone's going to be hyped. And then later over time, it's going to die out and you know, kind of meet the same fate like Split Gate 1. In a way, Split Gate 2 isn't offering anything exactly new to the market, to the to the first person shooter market. It's just another FPS with the new coat of paint on it and a, you know, and the Split Gate slash Halo feel. I don't know how current or some Split Gate fans feel about this game, but if people main Call of Duty as their game, they're not going to stick around. They're going to go back to Call of Duty. Same thing with like the hero mechanics and whatnot. Like, People are going to go back to their main games like Apex Legends or Overwatch. They're not going to stick around for this game. You're not offering anything new to the FPS market. Obviously, in my opinion, what 1047 should do, which I doubt they're going to do, um, I would delay this game for like another two, even maybe even three years, and go back to the direction you guys were doing with Split K1. You know, double down on the Halo and Portal stuff. Maybe you can do some more creative stuff with the Portal mechanic. I'm, I assume there's going to be a Forge like Splitgate 1 that they added later, but better. You know, that's good. Um, they, I think they really should take more inspiration from Halo, you know. Go back to even starts, have weapons on maps, come up with your own more creative weapons that Halo maybe doesn't have or never even tried. Like, think about it. Halo right now is shit. And 1047 with Splitgate, you're the only one that can kind of offer another Halo kind of feeling game. But I am disappointed that this is the direction you chose. Uh, going back to the map design real quick, um, I feel like with the way these maps are designed, it kind of makes actually the portals... I mean, the portals are already easier to use with one button, which I like, but due to the design of the maps, I think the portals kind of become more oppressive than they were in Splitgate 1. Not just because of their ease of use, but also because the maps seem much simpler and smaller, which equals more instances for you to get shot in the back. And the hero mechanics, I mean, the Meridian one is the worst one. Like, is the worst offender. Like, seeing at the top of the screen you've been detected is such a dopamine killer. Or even Arrows, which I thought was the least offensive one. You know, you just move and reload faster and shit. I didn't know you get a health boost, like a 50% health boost over your regular health. That's just stupid. Now, to talk a little bit of that, about the competitive scene of Splitgate, um, I enjoyed watching Splitgate 1 competitively. It was fun as a spectator, and even to play because, well, it's very similar to Halo. But if this game gets a competitive scene, which I'm sure it will, I'm probably not gonna watch and or like even try it. Because it's gonna it's gonna be like Call of Duty. And I already don't respect like competitive Call of Duty. Like I don't really consider Call of Duty a competitive game. Like if this is the way it is for competitive split gate, I'm not gonna watch. Because chances are, at least in my experience, most people are going to be abusing the assault rifles and SMGs because of how easy they are to use. Getting kills with the precision rifles of each class feels really good. Like when I'm using the precision rifles from each class, I have more fun. I may not do the best every game, but I have more fun getting kills. Versus when I use the automatics in the game, I do, I do better, yeah. 
but I have less fun because of how easy these guns are to use. The kills are less satisfying. And like I said, Swiftgate 1's like full auto weapons actually took some thought to some degree than Splitgate 2. And if this is the direction they have chosen, let me at least give you some, I guess, feedback on what I would do to make the game less dumb, I guess. So the first thing I would do is very easy. Remove shotguns from the loadouts. Shotguns as a loadout is so fucking cringe. Like I said, like when I get killed by a shotgun in Splitgate 1, I'm not pissed over it because obviously that guy didn't just spawn with it for free. He got, he found it on the map. So when I get killed by a shotgun in Splitgate 1, it's like, oh, okay, I have to go find the shotgun on the map because it's something you can fight for. Because in Splitgate 2, it's like Call of Duty where you can just spawn with it. So when I die from a shotgun in Splitgate 2, it's like, oh, he spawned with it. What the fuck? What's the outplay there? Like, avoid him? So yeah, just remove shotguns from the loadout system. It's cringe. Uh, the next thing I would do is, well, make maybe the full auto weapons harder to use. Uh, do that how you will. And then when it comes to the weapon attachments, I think you should come up with more unique attachments. Like, again, I'm gonna point to Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 had unique weapon attachments, and not every gun had the same attachments. And even some guns had super attachments. Like, t take a look at Black Ops 4. Uh, 1047. Uh, that's how I would do weapon attachments. And then when it comes to the hero abilities, you know, at least, uh, you know, for arrows with the 50% health boost, uh, make it decay over time like like uh, Overshield from Halo. So basically, when you activate uh, Eros' rush ability, you know, you get a 50% health boost and it, and it pretty much stays there unless you get shot. I think there should be a, like a Overshield decay mechanic like in Halo, where when you activate it, and then if you haven't been in a fight in a while, it starts decaying over time. So you start to lose that health boost if you haven't been in a fight. And then for Meridian's fucking wall hacks, just make it so that the player that has it on is the only one that can see me. I think it's dumb that the Meridian can turn on wall hacks for the entire team. And that also doesn't help considering the maps are kind of, well, small. So uh, yep, for Meridian, just make the wall hacks, just make it so that the person that activates the wall hacks, that's the only person that can see me. And then for Sabrask with the drop wall, just make the shield easier to break, I guess. And even add maybe some more counterplay to it, like it is a shield wall, so maybe like the synapse weapons for example, like, or like uh, uh, the Meridian weapons. Since, since the Meridian's more laser based and like plasma based, just make that class like a pretty easy counter to the smart wall. Or even fuck, you, you have impact ammo in the game, why not make impact ammo, give it a, a little perk that makes it easier to break through the Sabrask walls. And then when it comes to the portals, honestly, the, the, the portals, I would just give it a three second, like, again, the way how the maps are designed, I think portals might need a three second cooldown once you spawn two portals. This isn't me complaining, I have a huge respect for people that use the portals and, you know, that like, obviously there's a skill gap there. Even back in Splitgate 1, uh, when recently going back to it, I'm using the portals more in Splitgate 1 than Splitgate 2, but that's just because... In Splitgate 1, you know, I have experience and I've played the maps, so I have an idea of how to use the portals there. But in Splitgate 2, I think the portals could use a 3 second cooldown. That's all I'll say about the portals. And that's my overall thoughts and some feedback if this is the direction that, Split, that uh, Splitgate 2 is going uh, overall for this video. So yeah, overall, like I said, disappointed the direction of the game. I will try it, obviously, but I'm not enthusiastic of this game. And I hope my feedback makes sense and is understandable and feasible to do if, you know, since this is the direction 1047 is going. And uh, I think that's all I got to say on this this uh, alpha. So if you enjoyed, uh, please leave a like. And I guess a little, uh, I guess, announcement for the, for the channel. Um, this channel is, is uh, I have more FPS or like first person. I'm going to try shifting the direction of this channel more towards first person shooter. Uh, content or just shooters in general so if you like first person shooters you know check out the rest of my content uh changes are coming with my with my brand and and this channel so just a little heads up and uh yeah I, i'm done so till next time peace